Chaos and confusion, those are just two terms used recently to describe voting in Florida since the infamous Hanging Chads episodes of 2000. But this hour's newsmaker is looking to improve the process by starting with the way voters register. Here to discuss that, Senator Jeff Clements, Democrat from District 27 in Palm Beach County. Welcome back, Senator Clements. Good to have you on Newsmakers. Thanks for having me. We're here in Tallahassee, and uh, one day you would like to see Floridians move to an online system for registering to vote in order Correct. to improve turnout. Yeah, 16 states have already done it. It works, and uh, not only is it more secure, but it saves us money, and I think that's a big thing when we're talking about having to spend money on voting machines and trying to make our process better. So if there's a way that we can save dollars, make it easier for people to register, then I think we should do it. Well, you, you say that it's safer. Some people would say, hey, doing anything on a computer, it's hackable, and you know, but you're saying that these days technology is so good that voting uh, registration online is safer than doing it in person? Well, all our, all our voting records and information, is it's already online. So if somebody's going to hack it, that's probably the way they're going to do it, not through the voter registration system. But security is always a concern when you're dealing with these issues, and you need to make sure that you, know, you have the right processes in place. But uh, like I said, 16 states have already done it. They've kind of paved the way for us, made a few mistakes. We can learn from those. And really, it's just about an easier way for people to be able to register and hopefully encourage more people to get involved in the process. So we're talking about registering to vote. Right. One day, do you see people in the state of Florida actually voting online? Could yeah. that be something in our lifetime? Yeah, I think it will happen, and I think it will happen in our lifetime. Um, but there are security concerns and some things that we've got to iron out. It's going to be a few years before we get to that. I think this is a, a common sense step that other states have already done that will lead us to, uh, to a more technologically uh, based voting system, registration system. So Florida is still sort of a joke when it comes to voting, unfortunately, with what happened in 2000, some other incidents. Uh, can we, do you think we've improved the state's image when it comes to how we vote here? Without question. We had a good cycle the last one and, and really the last few cycles. And I think, you know, we've, we've understood that we need to make a commitment to the technology. We need to make a commitment to the equipment. Not only that, but training people properly. I mean, you, you walk into one of these voting uh, places and you want to make sure that the people there know what it is you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. So this year we're going to make a, an investment in our voting uh, registration database, which is going to be important as well, so we can get that cleaned up. So Senator Clements, what are some other uh, priorities on your list this year in Tallahassee during session? Well, as always, I'm working on medical marijuana leg legislation. That's something that I started back in 2011 and uh, continue to do. Uh, I have people uh, on a regular basis w roll, walk into my office in a wheelchair or with a cane um, that are suffering, and they say this is the only way that, that I can get through my day. I've tried heavy narcotics. I've tried everything else. This is what helps me get through my day. And my, my, uh, my statement to anybody watching and to yourself is, look, if you've got six months to live, if you've got cancer, if you've got ALS, and this is what helps you, who am I to say that you shouldn't have it? Now, now of course, in the state of Florida, uh, last year, voters uh, just narrowly uh, voted down uh, by it was 60 percent threshold. They got about 58 percent for medical marijuana. How does the legislature plan to address that in, in further ways? And do you see that going back on the ballot maybe next year and passing? Well, uh, it's interesting that you bring that up. Amendment 2 from last year did get about 58 percent of the vote. Um, but there's another 20 percent of the people who said they probably would have voted for it if it didn't contain what they considered to be loopholes. So the legislature is coming back with a bill this year sponsored by uh, my friend Senator uh, Jeff Brandis that uh, is a little bit more narrowly ta tailored than that uh, amendment to that lists specific illnesses and I think this is the way that we can move forward. Uh, again, you know, if you have six months to live you should really be able to deal with the pain that you have in your own way, and the government shouldn't be telling you how to do it. Uh, one other thing uh, to, to mention here, as far as priorities, education budget will be hashed over as you go through session. It's your opinion that uh, too many resources are being put forth to, for, uh, for charter schools and uh, not enough for, for regular public schools. Yeah, I think charter schools serve a purpose, and there are some that do a great job because they have a very specific purpose that is different than that of the school district. But when you open up a charter school, using public tax dollars right across the street from a public school, what you're really doing is throwing tax dollars down the drain. So my hope would be that in the future we can look at that and try to allow charter schools in those instances where they serve a specific purpose that the school district is not already offering, rather than having uh, twice as many tax dollars go towards educating the same segment of students. And Governor Scott has t talked about uh, adding money to the education budget. Uh, uh, do you think there's enough in there to satisfy the needs of, of Floridians and K through 12 education? No. Um, you know, clearly we're always in the bottom 
10 to 15 percent in terms of per student funding in the state of Florida. But I am encouraged that the governor is, uh, is dedicating more money. And I'm encouraged that after four or five of the last years that, that, uh, that we've, where we've been cutting or, or, or not uh, increasing the budget in the way that we should, that we're taking other steps. Just like I'm encouraged that we've been talking for four or five years about over-testing, and now we're starting to hear uh, my Republican colleagues talk about it as well. Senator Jeff Clemens, we appreciate your time. Thanks for being this hour's newsmaker. Thank Good luck so this much. session. Appreciate you. And I'm Phil Latzman from Tallahassee. We thank you for watching.